So let's take a look at this question. Here we have to calculate the total surface area of this shape. Now in the first video in this chapter we looked at how to work out the surface area of a cube and what we said was that surface area will surface, the word surface means everything on the outside, and area, well we know how to work out the area of most shapes. So if you had to look at this diagram over here, imagine you could, so this is actually a goal box, imagine like a soccer goal box, if you had to pick this shape up and have a look at it, what kind of shapes would you see if you had to walk around? Well, you would see a triangle over here, for example, and then the identical triangle would be on the opposite side. There would be a rectangle and another rectangle over here. And then lastly, there's a third rectangle over here. And so all in all, what we have is two triangles and three rectangles. So to find the total surface area, we just have to go work out the area of each of them. And so let's start off with this rectangle over here. Well, we know that the area of a rectangle is length times breadth, and so the length of that rectangle is 10, and its breadth or its height, whatever you want to call it, is 2. And so the area of that rectangle, so we'll just call that rectangle AEFG, no, AEFB, sorry, that's going to be 10 times 2, which is 20, and then area is always to the power of 2, so it'll be 20 meters squared. Next, we could look at this rectangle over here. Well, that one's length is also going to be 10, because if that's 10, then this length down here is 10, and then the width is 3. So we'll call that rectangle FB, I don't know what's happened to this letter, this must have been a C, F, B, C, D, and that's going to be 10 times 3, which is 30 meters squared. And then moving to this triangle, well, remember the area of a triangle is half base times height. And so that's going to, okay, so triangle A, B, C, that's going to be half base. Well, the base length is 3, and the height is 2. And if you go work that out, you're going to get a value of 3 meters squared. Would you agree that the triangle on the opposite side, so this one over here, is exactly the same and so we can straight away work out that one's area or we can just write it down so that'll be triangle E F D well that's also going to have an area of 3 meters squared and so all that's left is this last rectangle here now this one's got a bit of a catch well we know that its length is 10 we can see that written over there but we don't know this length here but what we could possibly do is look at this triangle and to find that long a length AC, we could use Pythagoras. And so that would tell us that AC squared is equal to 2 squared plus 3 squared. And so that's going to be equal to 4 plus 9, which is 13. And so AC squared is 13. And then to get AC by itself, you would take the square root of 13. And so AC's length is square root of 13. And so now we can get the area of the shape of here. So that's going to be rectangle AECD, A. E, C, D is simply going to be equal to 10 times the square root of 13, and that's going to give you a value of 36.06 meters squared. And so to find the total surface area, you would simply add up all of these answers that we have. So we've got the three rectangles over there, and then we've got the two triangles over there. And so adding them all up together is going to give us a total surface area of 92.06 meters squared.